Hey guys, I'm Molly from Everyday Gymnastics and today I have a tutorial on how to stick landings. This may or may not be knowledge that you already have, but even if it is, it's good to keep reminding and keep working on it because we've got to stick our beam and bar dismounts and everything on vault and floor. If you think about it, those sticks or not sticks are the last thing that, that the judge sees, especially on vault, beam and bars, and also floor. But that it is the last thing that the judge is gonna see. And if you take crazy big rebounds or steps back, I'm guilty of it, it's gonna show in your score. So if you just work on this stuff little by little, you're gonna see it improve. And so let's get started. The definition of stick is to cling or adhere to a surface or substance. So in gymnastics, we want to land and stick our feet to the ground. I'd suggest to start by stretching your ankles because landing hard skills in gymnastics can get tough on them. These clips show how you should look in the stick position. Hollow body with your arms out in front of you and have your legs bent and slightly apart. Once you land and know that you have control, click your heels together and salute. For gymnastics, we need a strong body all the time, but to be controlled enough to stick the landings, it's super important to keep your strength up. Here are some exercises demonstrating to show conditioning for core, legs, and butt muscles, all essential for the skill. This part is pretty self-explanatory, but I'd say just practice various jumps and stick them. First, I jumped off my mini trampoline, and I'd say the most important ones to practice are straight jump, tuck jump, and pike jump because they're frequently used body shapes and skills, but then of course I'd say practice all the other kinds of jumps. Make sure to practice jumping off the heights both forward and backwards so that you're exercising both ways of motion. And once you've mastered jumps from a low height, move up little by little until you are super consistent. So now let's get into some skills. First is a punch front. Front tumbling is mostly about air awareness and knowing where you are in the flip since you can't spot the ground, but you can pick a place in front of you to spot. It'll help you set the skill when you see it in the beginning and then finish the skill with your eyes and chest up at the end. So pick something in front to look at in both the start and the finish. And for my punch front, I chose the camera when it was in front of me and you can see my eyes try to find it on the stuck landing here. Here are some back handsprings for you to see me finish in the correct stuck position. And lastly, we are here at the back tuck. You can spot the landing on this and you can on any backward landing flips also. So look for the mat or ground when you're upside down in the flip and that can tell you when to open up and bring your chest up. In this freeze frame, it shows my eyes looking straight down at the mat and that is my spot. For picking your chest up, it might help to choose something in front of you to look at. So I chose this big bush. When I'm sticking the landing of the scale, I try to bring my chest and head right up and stare at the bush. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm so happy that I can finally be filming outside again. It's being pretty consistently nice out. Also, thank you for over 90,000 subscribers. I still have my goal of 100K by my birthday, June 13th. So please keep subscribing. It's meaning the world to me. And also, I took the last two Sundays off of posting just because of like family events and busy schedules. But that is why I brought you this midweek video. Plus, I'll have my normal video on Sunday. So thank you again for everything. Please give this a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you on Sunday.